everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll have the opportunity to show you the uh, Strandberg I got for some tests. This is the Annex 7 Prog and I really like it even more than the Essential since it has you know the 7 string and I like that low end. Uh, I like to go through some specs and my honest opinion as I had some uh, some time with uh, this guitar. I had mm, had it for a couple of days and uh, been able to test it thoroughly uh, with some um, both clean sounds and distorted sounds and uh, even though that it might look like a metal guitar I do think uh, like it's really versatile. Obviously it's more uh, leaning towards the heavier side but Nonetheless, it's it's really really versatile, especially since the electronics is is uh, you know we have Fishman pickups in here, uh, Fluence Modern, Ceramic in the bridge, and Alnico on the Alnico magnet on the neck, and you have so many options. I'll go through through these uh, in a couple of seconds. Uh, just let me uh, tell you about uh, uh, the the whole construction first. So this is the uh, chamber body. Uh, so all those higher end Strandbergs like uh, the mm, original series and Prague series are uh, pretty much chambered and what that means is actually before they uh, glue the top of the veneer on, um, onto the body they drill some chambers to make the body a bit more lightweight and this one actually this this particular one uh, weights around 2.5 kilos or five and a half pounds depending on where you live hello USA <laughs> and uh, and it's really really lightweight I mean that's kind of given uh, with Strandberg guitars they they really are lightweight that's that's the, the ba uh, basic principle of those guitars I at least I think that that's one of the things I like the most about these guitars and uh, we have the swamp ash body take a look at the grain it's it's really freaking cool uh, I like how you can feel the grain under your fingers. Uh, as you can see, there is no uh, back plate for the springs and uh, the tremolo system. I don't find it actually to be a, any nuisance for me, since um, I mean nobody watches this, this this side of the guitar when you play it on stage. So, <laughs> and it's easier to just you know um, set it up that way. You won't lose the screws because there are no screws at all, so that, that's quite cool. Uh, five uh, screws uh, for the neck and a battery cavity, so nine volt. We have uh, we have the nine volt battery in here for uh, the whole Fishman system, uh, and your regular body shape that you can uh, instantly recognize uh, from Strandberg guitars. Uh, and yeah, the, the, the neck is uh, seven piece. Uh, the, the neck profile is still under neck. It's really comfortable. Uh, I, I, you know what? I do own the, um, the standard NX8 and lately, as I've been able to play this one, I find it a bit more comfortable than the, the eight string. Not that it's bad. Uh, I mean the eight string. It's, it's really cool, uh, but the, the difference of the scale, it after all, it re reaches 28, uh, 28 inches, so it's really, really long. And sometimes you might feel, especially if you're a small person, and I actually am, you might feel that with your small hands, uh, sometimes they, they get tired. I mean, not uh, as uh, they regularly would with a full 28-inch scale, so it's really good. I'm really picking right now some some tiny details because I haven't noticed that my hands get tired when I play the NX8 but right now when I had the opportunity to play this one for a couple of days I find this one to be way more comfortable for me so uh, and this is 25 and a half to the uh, 26.25 so it, it's quite irregular but it's really cool the neutral thread is around the 10th fret and uh, obviously you can say that this is a multi-scale, just at first glance you can really notice that. And, um, but it's not really immediately apparent when you play. Uh, and that's, that's quite cool, you know, because it's, it is supposed to work uh, and not uh, remind you of itself constantly. So if it would be any inconvenience, that, that, that would 
miss the point, uh, wouldn't it? So yeah, um, the fretboard is rich light. So uh, this is a uh, hybrid of uh, recycled paper, I believe, in resign. So uh, it should be, uh, it should not dry, and hence uh, you uh, should not experience any, you know, uh, fret sticking out after the winter and whatnot. So it, it should be stable. And actually, the neck itself is uh, carbon fiber rain reinforced. So it's really, uh, it's supposed to be, at least, uh, you know, I haven't had it for, uh, you know, one uh, winter season in, in, in use, and this one is actually a full test, so, um, but I'm considering buying uh, one for myself right now. No, nonetheless, um, it it's supposed to be really stable, and that's what I really like about the, the guitars, so if, if you can uh, put a little less time setting it up and more time to play it and it's, it's actually quite cool isn't it so and the fretwork on this one which is you know what it obviously boils down to a specific uh, guitar you can have three um, specimen of Prague NX7 and two of them might not be as perfect but this one is really really cool let me check one thing I believe that the action is quite low uh, it's it's ridiculously low. It's around around half uh, half millimeter, and right now we have one point five. It's 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 really it's really low. It's really low, and the neck is pretty much flat. So, and we have uh, obviously we have some buzz a, li a little bit, uh, but you can really. Um, you can expect it in pretty much most most of the guitars a little bit of buzz depending on how heavy you uh, pick but this one actually considering how low the action is is slight buzz but I expected way worse uh, things in a bit even in a bit higher action so this one is actually j just just you know really really cool to have this experience uh, right off the box uh, to not be uh, forced to uh, set it up and you know have the uh, fretwork redone and whatnot. So this this is really cool. And uh, the frets are just cast and they are stainless. So as uh, previously with the essential, I mean the essential had uh, hadn't had haven't had the just cast, but they were still uh, stainless nonetheless. But these one are uh, the same ones as uh, with the original series. So yeah, they are pretty much immortal, uh, at least on paper. So uh, next thing, uh, we have the uh, the tremolo bridge. This is a EGS seven tremolo, I believe. Uh, it's yet again, it's the uh, military grade aluminium, uh, aluminium, sorry, <laughs> and uh, it's uh, anodized black. So as previously, it should be scratch resistant to some degree. Obviously, if you use some kind of screwdriver and whatnot, you you can easily fuck it up. But uh, it's it's supposed to be a bit more uh, sturdy, uh, if if I may, if I might say might say. Um, but the saddles actually are pretty much the same as you would uh, have the with the original series. So uh, the same ones as with the fixed bridges, and that's quite cool because you can actually adjust the action to each saddle separately. So that's not something you actually see uh, quite often uh, with the Floyd Rose bridges, obviously like my gorgeous KM7 sector back there. Uh, th this one actually, you know, has the Floyd Rose bridge and uh, obviously it has wider range of pull and uh, and dive. This one, you probably can tell it's the, the cavity is not really deep, so you won't be able to do some extreme stuff uh, in the style of, you know, for instance, Dimebag Darrow. So if you uh, if you look for a guitar that has the ability to, um, you know, uh, it, it it enables you to do some crazy dive bombs. This is this is not for you. This is not for you actually. But still, you can do some of this this stuff. And uh, uh, actually, the the pro of this is, is you know the and uh, the um, the fact that you can adjust the intonation on the. Uh, uh, action on each shadow separately so it's quite cool uh, but you know at the um, at the expense of those dive bombs as I, as I said the arm socket is actually adjustable so if you like your uh, trim arm to be loose and hanging about 
uh, loosely, uh, then you can do so, pretty much. But if you would like it to stay in one place, you can um, do it with a little screw. You just need to uh, use a little Allen wrench that is included actually in the, uh, in the set with this guitar. You can lock it in and have the arm sitting in one place and not bothering you. And uh, this hole, I believe that you can actually move the arm here if you would really like to do it. I'm not sure why, but yeah, you, you, you probably could do that. I'm, I'm not really sure. I, I'm not sure if anybody would... Uh, anybody did that already I haven't seen any anyone use uh, the, the the bridge like that maybe some colors actually have the the same ability but I, I'm not really sure I, I, I like it in this place so yeah yeah that, that's it um, as mentioned before we have the Fishman fluence modern pickups uh, the ceramic ma ceramic magnets on the uh, on the bridge and El Nico on the neck and we have three uh, three-way switch volume control and tone control uh, and under the volume control you have actually the coil tap and the second voice under the tone so it's quite versatile uh, if I'm correct you should be uh, able to have uh, you should have 12 different uh, sounds with this one so it's quite a lot actually um, and the one that I really enjoyed, especially with the heavy distorted sound, uh, is the, the second voice on the, uh, on the bridge. But this is a subjective matter, so depending on what you play and how you play, maybe you would like it to be uh, a bit more saturated. I think, I, at least my is maybe lie to me, but the, the first voice actually is a bit more aggressive, a bit more, a bit more saturated. Uh, and this one is actually quite less. You know, someone told me uh, sometimes, be sometime before, uh, uh, some time ago, sorry, that those fishmans have actually the ability to pack a punch like the uh, most those active pickups you have on the market. Uh, but at the same time, you are able to change them to act like passive pickups. And while not, while not uh, this is, might not be certainly 100% uh, true, I do believe there's some uh, truth to it. Uh, I, I personally like this, uh, this, uh, those options that those pickups give with this uh, guitar. Uh, oh, and yeah, by the way, before I forget, uh, the top, actually veneer, is a uh, quilt maple and it's 4A grading. I mean, it's it's really mesmerizing and the logo sorry i'm gonna i'm gonna back to the electronics in a, in a, a little bit but this one is actually not painted those uh letters th this feels more premium you know uh this is a, a tiny detail but since you know you're spending quite a lot uh, of money on this guitar if you want to spend less just stick to the uh, stick with me to the end of the video because you might uh, like what, what you will hear uh, but nonetheless this feels more premium this this glows and this slightly 3d so yeah I, I, I maybe maybe I'm a fool but uh, they bought me with this one it's it's really really cool to see that this tiny detail my annex um, standard actually has the logo painted it still looks cool but cool but this one is, is really uh, nice. Uh, yeah, uh, back to it. So the electronics, as I said, you have the split option on the volume and second voice on the tone. Um, so this is... Uh, and uh, yeah, and the string lock is the same as you would have with the original series and, and the standard series black, anodized, um, military-grade aluminum, and uh, each string is locked separately. You can snap them, uh, I mean, you can cut them at the uh, at the end, so they won't damage your gig bag. That is actually in included. I'll show you at the end of the video how it looks because it's it's quite different than the previous one with the um, that was added to the essential series and different than the one you can have with the standard series. But right now, let's go through some uh, sounds. Okay, I'll show you some, uh, not all, because that that would be that would make the video unreasonably unreasonably uh, long. And uh, but yeah, I'll I'll show you a few, both with clean and distorted. Uh, so yeah, stick with me a little bit longer, and let's go through those sounds. Okay. <laughs>
So yeah, as you can hear, there's quite a lot of sounds with this one. Uh, you, you were able to reach uh, 12, if I'm correct, so three in, which, uh, in every configuration. And I really do like this guitar. I highly recommend that if you uh, are on the market for a good seven string that, you know, can pack a punch, that is lightweight. Uh, that you can easily travel with, that, that is reliable, especially you know since the the fretboard is rich light, so it should be um, it should be uh, really uh, it should withstand the uh, um, differences of temperature and humidity uh, a bit better than your regular wood. And the neck, I mean, neck on this one is really great. As I said, the the the, the profile, the Andrew neck profile, which I like uh, a lot, uh, paired with the uh, 20 uh, inch radius is something really uh, cool and yeah let's go for the gig bag because this as I said this is a bit different than the, the one you could get with the essential series uh, this is called a venture gig bag I believe you have two uh, straps the second one I, I hid it actually because uh, for the purpose of this video but Trust me, there's, there's the second one, and you can attach it easily to this uh, this tiny thing that it you can you are able to hide it uh, hide it in here. So sorry, and this actually has uh, small magnets inside, so it just locks inside and stays that uh, stays that way. So, for instance, we we could just you know lock it, this one on the other side if you would like to have it uh, from uh, on on going in this uh, in this direction. I'm, I'm not able to find the correct word for this. But yeah, nonetheless, uh, you, you can, you can uh, easily uh, take, uh, um, reach this position uh, as, as well. You have the raincoat, really green, really big, really big raincoat with a 
with a cool Strandberg logo. You, 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 might, you might look like an ali alien on the street, but at least your guitar is safe with you. Uh, protected from the rain and whatnot. I'll correct that later on, but yeah. And we have two uh, pockets. This one uh, would be cool for some music sheet and whatnot. And then we have the, this zipped up pocket for your accessories and you know the, the tremolo arm. That's you know that, that sits cool. And all the all those keys and the multi tool and stoppers and document documentation and whatnot. You you have it all here. And this is also cool. The something that you don't actually have with the the other gig bag that's included with the purchase of the Essential series, for instance. Uh, this one, uh, you can you can lock the you you can um, lock the neck in one place with this uh, neck cradle, if if I can call it like that. Nonetheless, it, it's it's really really cool, and it's lightweight, as I said, and that's that's what matters the most with those guitars. You can you know easily travel with this and. Sorry, I haven't stopped the recording of guitar. Uh, anyway, back to it. Uh, you can travel with your guitar easily, um, with every strand of guitar. And since I travel a lot, uh, I teach a lot. So, so I, when I travel to all those uh, places I need to be uh, to teach and, and to do my job, uh, I find these guitars to be a blessing for me. And this one is no different. And I can, you know, have killer death metal sounds with it as well. And speaking of the uh, money stuff I, uh, I've been talking about earlier, uh, actually, the, um, I'm really uh, happy to announce that you uh, are able to use my ref link in the description box below to purchase a Strandberg guitar uh, with a 5% discount at Wired Tunes. Shout out to whole Wiretons crew and oh by the way if you haven't already uh, seen the uh, essential video it's in Polish but maybe you uh, you will enjoy those if, if you won't be able to understand the language you will be able to at least enjoy the sound samples uh, out there you can uh, watch the video on Wiretons channel obviously I do have the review in English on my channel as well but yeah I'll leave all those I, I, I'll leave those uh, links in the description uh, and the ref link so you can purchase your Strandberg guitar at this kind of price. So uh, yeah, uh, feel free to use that. Let me know if you have any questions, if you would like to see any other Strandberg guitar review on my channel and let me know if you uh, end up buying this one. I'd, I'd really like to know your opinion on this one. I, I find it really uh, cool uh, and I can't wait to uh, see different colors in person. So yeah, this is it for uh, for now. Hope you enjoyed the video and bye, see you soon.